Hey guys, I'm Mike, and this is a quick introduction to our course, Intro to XGen. This course is split into two parts. The first part will go through all the fundamentals of creating groups, which are not only appealing, but also stable to work with. We will start with any requirements for the model and some common misunderstandings that beginners may have. After that, we'll go through the importance of guides and some of the most vital aspects of creating guide work, which can make your groom look great with very little modifier work. Speaking of modifiers, we will also go through some in-depth explanations of how different parts of the modifier process actually work, from creating clumps and all the ways we can break them up, to noises, cuts, hair partings, and many more factors that go into making a natural looking groom. We also have a few bonus lessons at the end to cover some more advanced topics such as how hair materials work and excellent expressions which are incredibly powerful and much more useful than you may first expect. In the second part we'll go through the full process of creating a basic hairstyle which covers as many techniques as possible without being too complex. As we go through this I will show you my personal approach to guide work and modifiers in real time try to teach you some of my little tricks that I've learned over the last couple of years. You will also be given access to scene files that allow you to follow along and gives you a good base to start learning on. Xgen is by far the most popular grooming tool out there, and for good reason. It's an incredibly powerful system and has some very well made modifier and guide tools which allow you to replicate any type of hair and fur. It also has some really nice features for viewport previews which makes it far easier and faster to iterate your groom. However, it's no secret that Xgen can be a tricky piece of software and there's a lot of misinformation out there. That's why during this course, I will show you some of the most common mistakes that people make and teach you why it's important and kind of how you can avoid them. This will also give you a much easier time managing Xgen in your project. Anyway, that's all for now and I look forward to seeing what people can do after going through the course.